Hi, this is Mr. Lake. I'm one of the physics teachers at Pomfret School, and I wanted to give you a quick introduction to Mathematica. Mathematica is a very powerful program that we're going to be using in your science classes next year. It can do uh, all kinds of calculations. We'll use it to take notes, and I'll show you a few examples of what we can do. Then a few fellow teachers and I will uh, give you some specific tips and tricks on how to do some of these things. And at the end, you may be able to download your own version of Mathematica and try some of these things out. This will help you hit the ground running when the school year starts. One of the things that we can do in Mathematica is take notes. I type these notes in front of my class, and we all go on the Internet together to find pictures that match our points well. keeps us all on the same page. I can check to see whether students really are taking notes. And in the end, you have a permanent record of everything that we did in class as opposed to using the whiteboard and uh, your paper notebook. It doesn't always work as well. So it's a great way of taking notes. Another thing Mathematica can do very well is calculations. With a name like Mathematica, you better believe it does some great math. Here a student is solving uh, for the percent error in a lab and you'll notice that they have some calculations here and then the computer has solved for some of the um, values that they want. And we can easily type in some text here saying solving for the percent error, for instance. So you'll learn in a, a few lessons how to create variables and then make Mathematica solve math problems for you. Another way we use it is in the lab. We take data and then we can graph that data easily. And the great thing is, if we change some of our data set, we just go back and change one value, the graph automatically updates, and we can do some uh, very interesting and deep science with this. And of course, at the end of the month, we have our tests. Uh, students take tests on the computers, and so I can grade them digitally and send them back to them via email. And um, you can see some of the multiple choice questions here from one of the, the current tests. So these are just some of the ways that we can use Mathematica, and you'll be seeing it again in your science classrooms.